be speak it, heeding the deepest of reaches within myself that increases. Peace is seen in my peoples, teaching mediums equally. Reach of the media, this depleting the helium in the egos is needing. That heads are hunger, we're feeding them, so we, uh. Repeatedly speak it until we speak gifts. Repeatedly speak it until the bleak lifts. Repeatedly speak it until the peak hits. Cause thoughts manifest through the power of words. Ideas realize through the power of words. Messages convey through the power of words. The power of words. The power of words. So welcome everyone. I'm Seymour Perspective. I am a hip hop artist and spoken word artist. Um, among other things, I'm a producer a visual artist, all kinds of things. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you uh, basically just a couple of key ways to write some rap, to, to participate in this beautiful, rich hip hop culture um, that has its roots in West Africa uh, and works its way through the blues and jazz in the US to eventually become uh, hip hop and spoken word. Um, and uh, we're going to focus on the hip hop aspect. We're going to rap. Uh, you don't even have to be somebody who makes those things, uh, but you can be somebody who creates it here right now. The uh, first thing we want to do is establish the beat. Hip hop works primarily in a one, two, three, four, which is a four, four time signature. Um, that just means it happens within basically a four bar loop. Uh, 16 bars is usually what we use. Uh, to fulfill a verse in a song. There may be two or three verses in each song. A hook can be eight bars, usually four bars that are repeated, and then go into uh, the rest of the, the song as well. So when we talk about bars, we're talking about establishing the structure that we will be creating everything to, including the beat. One, two, three, four, feel free to, four, count with me, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you can keep going, two, three, four, and I'm just going to keep on adding to this conversation and this building block, three, four, one, two, Three, four, I'm gonna add in some drums. Three, four, one, two. So those drums fit on those basically like anchor points, our downbeats when we nod our head. When it goes up, that's an upbeat. When it goes down, that's a downbeat. And that's literally where we're counting. One, two, three, four. And there's a lot of space in between there because there is an upbeat in between every downbeat as well. One, up, two, up. Three up, four up, right? One, two, three, four. One up, two up, three up, four up. And then there's a lot of space because our head is on the way moving up and on the way moving down between those downbeats and those upbeats. And that's where the magic happens. But we're going to focus really just on the, um, on the downbeats for this one. So... Uh, to put that all together uh, with some rap now. Let's see how the rap fits to those same bars, right? It was... Repeatedly speak it, heeding the deepest of reaches within myself that increases the pieces seen in my peoples that teaching mediums equal and reach of the media that's depleting the helium in the egos that's needing it. Heads are hunger, we're feeding them, so we, uh. Repeatedly speak it until we speak gifts. Repeatedly speak it until the bleak lifts. Repeatedly speak it until the peak 
hits cause thoughts manifest through the power of words ideas realize through the power of words messages convey through the power of words the power of words the power of words thoughts manifest through the power of these words so many slow momentum at a thought that deters i'ma find a way to tap collect kinetics with poetic proethics until the moment that we surge right so if you can write to bars, you can basically fit your rap to any beat you will hear on a radio, on the internet, whatever it is. Um, there are people who play with different time signatures and that happens as well. Um, and uh, most of the stuff that you're gonna hear is gonna be a one, two, three, four. What you can do is you can you can look up any song that you like, that you heard about, whatever, and try counting to it. If you can nod your head to it, one, and count one, two, three, four. That's a four, four beat, right? Um, sometimes things get a little trickier, uh, but we'll worry about that later on. For now, uh, we're gonna focus on that four, four. Um, here we go. So even something that is um, kind of like, uh, I don't know, busy, wordy, super rhythmic, whatever it is, right? That fits in the one, two, three, four bar structure. Um, of course, we don't have to do that. We can start very simple. We're gonna try to just put words on each downbeat. One, two, three, four. Uh, you may be familiar with a Snoop Dogg song uh, where he, sa he starts the song by saying, one, two, three, into the four, Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at your door, right? He's literally just counting the bars. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna put our words on that. The rhyme is gonna happen on the four. We're gonna start on the one, we're gonna add another word on the two and the three, and then we're gonna put the word that we're going to rhyme with on the four. Now, of course, you can write about whatever you like, whatever inspires you, whatever you think is funny, whatever you think is beautiful, whatever you think is important. Um, hip hop is a tool to communicate um, really through through music, through a vibe, through a mood, uh, and through, through beats and language. And so we use that. Uh, we use this art form. We use these tools to speak on anything that and everything that human beings experience. Uh, because MCs, rappers, masters of ceremonies are writers. Um, and so we write about everything that human beings experience and write about. And so let's start with that. Let's start by practicing a one, two, three, four. Let's just get in the rhythm of that three, four, one, two, three, four. And you really want to nod your head because that's going to tell you whether the beat is on or off. If you can't nod your head to it, it's probably off beat. Or maybe it's in a weird time signature. That's fine too. Um, and your body will tell you if things are happening in the right way. So trust that, right? Nodding your head is like your compass to figure out if you're going in the right direction uh, with your uh, performance, with your rhythm, etc. right? So just practice counting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And practice that as long as you want. And then what we'll start doing is we'll start adding in different words. So on the four, I'm gonna say a word, any word that comes to mind, and you can either choose to rhyme with that or you could choose to uh, take a different um, take a different route and just say any word or make a sound, right? The main thing that we're trying to do is practice putting the word on that downbeat, the one, two, three, four, that fourth downbeat. And it's gotta be like at the bottom, when your head goes down, nods down, that's exactly where you want the word to fall, right as if a pinpoint was dropping right on that. One, two, three, four, right? Right at the bottom of that downbeat. And that's when you're gonna be right at home. Uh, what we'll do is I'm gonna count one, two, three, four. And 
after I get through the first four, I'm going to say a word on the four. And then I'm going to leave the four open for you to add in your word. Something that rhymes with what I just said or something totally different. Your name, whatever. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, more. One, two, three. One, two, three, sore. One, two, three. One, two, three, core. One, two, three. One, two, three, floor. One, two, three. One, two, three, slur. One, two, three. One, two, three, amor. One, two, three. One, two, three, score. One, two, three. So to close out this uh, part one of the video, what I'm gonna do a part two as well. Part one, um, what I'd like for you to do is just practice counting bars consistently. Feel it, nod your head. Otherwise you're kind of just guessing. But when you nod your head and you can feel it, then you know it's working. Of course, um, uh, we do as we are able, right? And so, um, just feeling it in some way, having that pulse go through us, right? We identify with it. We identify with the drums and hip hop as human beings because of the beat of our heart. That's why we love drums so much as really a species. Cool. So uh, practice that counting one, two, three, four. Practice adding in words on the four. Uh, one, two, three. Once you have that down, one, two, three, four. You can even go slower. One, two, three, four. You just want it to be consistent. You don't want it to go slow and speed up. You don't want it to speed up and go even faster or slow down. Um, so practice that, get it consistent. Once that, once you can feel that going in your body, once you can really feel like you're getting it down, start to add in a word on the four. One, two, three, blah. One, two, three, ra. One, two, three, flop. One, two, three, stop, right? Whatever it is, um, they can be rhyming for extra points or uh, they also don't have to. So practice that and then when you're ready, we'll come back in for part two.